I kind of I don't do a lot of this uh, public speaking, but when I do, I, I enjoy uh, talking to groups like this, the 16 to, to 19 year old, because they're 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 at a point in their career and their life that uh, they're 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 trying to figure out do they want you know do I really want to be a, a pro hockey player or do I want to go somewhere in my hockey career? So certainly it's it's uh, it's uh, it's. it's you know, I think it is important for for them, for the kids to, to understand and to hear from somebody who's been through it, uh, like myself or like John. Um, you know, and I tried to reiterate that to the kids that the, you know they have a guy in John Shabbat who was had an outstanding career. So I know they probably may take it for granted a little bit in terms of because they hear and seeing him on a, on a daily basis. But John was an outstanding player. But it's fun for me to give my my perspective as well because I was by no means. You know, I, I certainly would. If I was to go back, I would change. I would certainly change some of the things that I did do. Uh, that I did, and I would have been maybe a little more committed at certain times. And, and, and uh, you know, and, and the off ice stuff, the work ethic, and, and spending lots of hours in the gym. You know, I might have. I might have even have increased that workload. Certainly, from uh, from my standpoint. So I like to. I like to share those things because you know, at the end of the day, you do. They say you get second chances, but you know, you you don't get second chances. You know, you really. Want, you want to make right the first time.